Hello and welcome to Europa Universalis 4. Uh, welcome back to Common Sense. I'm Tech and we are going to be playing uh, EU4 in Common Sense in 1.12. If I can still put Iron Man mode because I don't think the update was validated. It's <laughs> not yet anyway. We are going to be starting a Let's Play with Castile. Now I've stopped the last one due to the well basically I knew the common sense would uh, break the save game so I actually decided to stop Castile was actually Castile or Spain um, there was a, a rework of the region uh, so I'm looking forward to that and also I've got no mods <laughs> right now I've got no mods installed nothing is yet uh, updated to the uh, to this version so we'll have to play with it okay so what's different in this patch well again for starters well let's start with the simplest trade wise Sevilla is no longer an end trade node ah, apparently it's still what Sevilla remained an end trade node? Oh, interesting. In the preview build, uh, the uh, Sevilla was no longer an end trade node. It actually fed into Genoa. Now, Genoa is an end trade node, though. Oh, so this actually makes it worthwhile to move or to expand into North Africa. Huh, interesting, I'm seeing that. Okay. Ragusa feeds into Genoa and and Alexandria actually feeds into Genoa as well. Ah, but this is interesting. Okay. Now we have uh, province development. Instead of base tax, base manpower and or base production and base manpower, you will spend points to actually improve your um, your provinces. I think it's a nice little extra something. Uh, Ergen got uh, Dragona, uh, Barcelona was split. Uh, Ergen was split into Zaragoza and Teruel. Uh, Pirineo into two as well. Girona is the same. Now, hmm, Baliars I thought. Baliars. Ah, yeah, the Baliars can now be fabricated into and they can fabricate into uh, northern Spain, which is northern Spain, northern Africa, which is great. And they can actually fabricate into France and Provence, which is good. From here, you can fabricate a claim into Sassari and Cagliari, which was a split. It used to be only Cagliari. Um, Palermo got or Sicily got um, got split into three. Malta. All right. All right. Alright, Byzantium. Let me actually take a look at Constantinople. Development of 23. Interesting. Okay, uh, this first episode of me will be me just panning around and taking a look at whatever. Because there's a lot of differences right now. And I kind of want to see what is up with everything. So Burgundy was split. Now they have... Personal union with Brabant, Flanders, and Holland, and Nevers as vassal. Okay. So now they're a glass cannon. If you can break their prestige, they will use these unions. Yep. Uh, what else? Portugal remains the same. Looking forward 17. 16. Lisbon is actually more developed. Not Barcelona. Uh, can I see economical? No, this is base tax still. Ah, that's an unfortunate. 18. Seville is actually more... And Porto is more developed than the Portuguese capital. Okay. Would love a development map mode. Yeah, but they it's still split. I still have the manpower map mode. I have the players, buildings, trade goods, local autonomy, fourth level, simple terrain, rivals. That's that one is new. No. Alright. So who put us in as rivals? Oh by the way. Um 
Right. Missionaries, Morale of Armies. Friend starts with... Ah, friend starts friendly towards me. Huh. And because uh, England... I might actually do this one then. Release Gascon from England. And then turn on my back on France. I might actually do that. Because friends apparently starts friendly towards me. What are my rivals? So England, that's one. Uh, can I still do that little thing with Portugal? Nah, can't. Prestige now is supposedly harder to maintain. Let's take a look at ideas first though. So this is the same in France. I was going to take a look. You get manpower modifier from the get-go. It's going to be tricky. Discipline, missionary strength, colonists, yearly people influence, trade income and global tariffs, heavy ship compatibility, yearly prestige and the finisher global central increase. Yep. Okay, idea wise, supposedly Marie Maritime got buffed, which I kind of like. We'll probably end up taking that. Espionage, in my opinion, is now a little bit more useful because of infiltrate administration. This is due to the force, since you cannot cross into other countries, so to speak. Um, it's going to be trickier uh, to to do it. Ooh, by the way, fort level. More forts. Only have two forts, really. Jesus. I was hoping a little bit more. Portugal only has one fort. Aragon has one, two, three forts. Influenced by? No influence? Okay. This, I think, is still a little bit of a, of a bug, but yeah. So, drylands. Development cost plus five. And number of possible buildings plus one. The only thing that I can build is a fort. Might actually end up uh, doing that. Granada, you have one fort right here. I have one there. I have no fort in Madrid. So this exerts zone of influence on these five provinces. And I have one in Castilla. Which exerts zone of influence on these provinces. That's not too, too bad. Probably we'll end up building forts in a couple of these provinces at a later date. Okay, let's pick rivals. So Portugal will be in and Morocco to top it off. Let's ally France then. And we'll start fabricate a claim on Gascon. France will be pissed at me because I took Gascon, which is a core of theirs, but oh well. Ah, there we go. So, Portugal, I'll need to start fabricating a claim on you as well. Uh, Mission-wise, solidify our people relations. That sounds like a plan. Don't want to build. Uh, I want to make my king and heir into leaders. Ah, fort maintenance, 0 0.5. Base cost, 0 0.5. Okay. Mothball. I can mothball. That will reduce my maintenance by 0 0.5. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Supposedly these guys were reworked. We'll see how at a later date. 6.45. So I can actually get all three of them. Uh, how much am I making from tax? Most of it. Could get the prestige though. Uh, do I want to get the prestige? No, I kind of want to get this one. I need the money at the start. Ah, so the first one that we, that I see, diplomatic reputation minus plus one. Uh, so this one was reduced. It used to be uh, plus two. I'm going to take him nonetheless. And I have a morale of armies guy, which is awesome. Scrap all of you, move to Sevilla. Castellers, Jaws. Sevilla, I'm, I was thinking about building a fort right there. But with this one... Yeah, we'll see. Ah, development cost. So this one 
Coastal centers of trade reduce development cost by minus 5. Because it's the capital. I get minus 10. Oh, but it increases. Okay, okay. Oh, so a capital that is an important center of trade is actually useful. useful. Farmlands, nothing. Marches. Plus 25 to local development cost. Hmm. Woods. Well, let's take a look at a simple terrain. These are grasslands, drylands, woods. Highlands. How much would it... 20. And mountainous. Just 50. Extra 50. Yeah. Mountain terrain. Right now. Um, just build up the, the fourth level. Right, speed 3. Uh, let's let's roll with it. I'm going to play for a little while. And then I'm, I'll end, end up making a cut. Um, Idea-wise, I'm thinking economic. Uh, it's really useful right now. Development cost minus 20. That's really, really good. Quality was buffed. Uh, the early army tradition is here. Paired with aristocratic quality is now really, really useful because yearly navy and army tradition. And over here we have yearly army tradition plus one. Uh, this is the decay. Also, the manpower modifier would be good. Uh, optimism, still good. Well, still a lot of stuff that is good. Also, by the way, I kind of forgot. The uh, idea was moved to tech 5, and now you have development efficiency. And the admin efficiency was reduced. So, for now, that's it. I'll think of something else as we go along. Uh, you can fabricate claims on capitals now, which is awesome. Uh, the claims alone redu reduce the... The cost by just a tiny little bit. So, uh, do I want to take Lisbon straight up? Lisbon, Porto. Take those two. And Coimbra. Lisbon, Porto, Beira. Lisbon, you have a fort there, right? Yeah. Right, so Lisbon, Porto. Yeah, we'll start fabricating claim on Lisbon straight away. Let's see, uh, mercenaries now are really, really useful. Because, well, you'll take the attrition. Oh, and by the way, now these guys get locked as soon as they get a... As soon as... No, don't disband. These guys get locked as soon as they move more than half or half the distance between provinces so no more dancing back and forth with the AI which is nice right do I want to solidify this probably I mean and I kind of wanted to station one troop up here do I want to vassalize you that's another thing France is actually improving no Navarra is improving they're allied with these guys. These guys have no mission. Okay, let's merge you. Let's put my king in charge. Just because I want him to die. Actually, I want my heir to die first. If I have my way. Because he's a zero, zero, zero. Venice, nothing. Who rivaled you, friends? England, Aragon, and Burgundy. So, no, 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 no. Provence. So if I rivaled you, I would get a few allies. Who rivaled Aragon? Hungary, France. Hungary. Minus 9. Yeah. You, minus 26. There are a couple new tags over here. Lovely. Lovely stuff. So, my truce with Granada will expire in 1448, three years. Uh, I'll probably end up just fighting England first, and that means Portugal as well. Uh, no, 
I do not want to get into a royal marriage with France because I'll probably end up well fighting them at some point. Um, navies are now more expensive or more costly to build time-wise. So this takes a long-ish time. I'm going to keep focus on military for now. From here with Circassia. Cultural Union. Okay. Muscovy and Kazan. Do 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 do. Want to build? I want to play with this. Sixteen. Um, how much gold am I making? Twenty-four. So two gold per year, or per month, due to this. Fifty-seven monthly gold income plus sixty-six. Zero point sixty-six. Hmm, interesting. I think production over here is really good. But keep in mind that if you go to 10 or above production in a gold province, there's a chance that you will exhaust that mine. And that will give you minus 50. So ideally you want to be at 9, I think. Only if you ha are really, really hurting do you want to get there. Because it's a monthly chance. It's small, but as it grows, uh, or as the... Shall we say, can I vassalize one of these guys? Minus 68, no distance between borders. Yeah, I need to take Gascon. And that claim is almost done. Let's get one Merc in here, just in case. I'll even get two. And keep an eye on France, because if they move this army over here, uh, there's a chance that they will declare war. Either up, up there or up here. The end of year's war, rather, the all the wars right now no longer start. Um, well, you no longer have wars at start. So Albania starts are now a little bit more possible. Venice, Corfu, Naxos, Etica, Naples. Well, yeah, but. Right, by the way, pop up and pause, I need to reset all of this. Ah, oh, no, I don't have to reset. Good. So I have my claim there. Let's continue with claims on Portugal. I need at least one more. Convert, fabricate claim on Porto. There we go. And Papal State, let's improve relations with you as soon as my guy returns. Start to improve relations because that's my mission. And my reward will be yearly papal influence by for 10 years and plus 0 0.5 which is good hmm. by the way the courier bonuses I think were reworked uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. no it's still the same okay good let's keep going Let's mothball my fleet. We're not going to be using it. 25,000. Alright, so I have my Casas Valley on England. I could declare war straight away. Genoa, Portugal, Navarra, and Tyrone. Huh, Navarra actually allied you. Well, that's my vassalization then. But that means I actually have to move one of these armies up there. So Portugal has 15, uh, 4, and let's move 2, so 19 versus 15, they have a better general though, which is annoying, a bit annoying, manpower wise I'm nearing the cap, Gazimuk. Morocco and Lemkin. Good, good. Fight amongst, amongst yourselves. Alright. 8,000 into the mountains with my king. That should be good enough. 
Got no diplomats to send. Well, that will be changed quite soon. Okay, so who did you end up allying? Uh, Genoa, Portugal, Navarra, and Tyrone. If I were to declare war, France would join in. Anyone else would like to join in? Scotland. Who is your who are your rivals? Denmark, Burgundy, France, and Castile. Uh, Burgundy does not want an alliance. Denmark does want an alliance. Let's get into that. Wait a month until they get defensive. And then they will honor the call to arms because it is a rival of theirs. Wells and myself. Okay. Burgundy, France is already in. So two out of three. Denmark apparently will not join because they are in debt already. Are you at war already? No. Keep in mind you cannot call in. Um, I actually accept this royal marriage. You cannot call in people that have um, after a war has started for 13 months. So keep that in mind if you plan on declaring and then allying someone. That's not going to work out very well for you. <sighs> alright, 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 alright. I would love if you would repay your debt. Minus 12, it's actually dropping. Portugal, who did you ally? England and Aragon. Yeah. Right, so take Gascon, France will join in. Uh, Denmark, you have 13 months to change your opinion. I'm not going to f uh, fully call in Portugal. I am going, however, to move to Caceres. Uh, because I want to move straight away into Lisbon, see if I can crush that army. And I'm going to move with this guy, because he's better. So declare war, minus 12. Alright, we'll see how it goes. Oh right, and I can't get there. There we go. Because fort. Lovely, isn't it? Actually, I can need to step into there and then move there. Well, that's it. That is what we are going to do. Uh, I'm going to grant D8. I don't want to lose monarch points right now. Or ever. So, no leader whatsoever. We are locked. I can't see what's up there, but... Right, so this was one. Hopefully, I'll be the one leading the siege. Remove Portugal as a historical threat, probably. Yep. Select army. Let's consolidate straight away. Detach a siege, and now. Ah, oh, apparently I can't move through there directly. Interesting. Grab you, you'll move to nowhere, apparently. Apparently I'm stuck there, but I'm sieging the fort. I cannot go back. Uh, okay, first thing that I, first complaint, first freaking complaint. Oh, I kind of forgot to dock this fleet in there. Yeah, I didn't lose anything, so that's good. Right, if that's the case, just station every single troop in Lisbon. Ergen gains the Clement Cuenca. I am the one controlling the siege here, which is brilliant. So that's the one that I wanted. There we go. Let's grab you and station you there, just in case these guys decide to leave, because the forts exert zone of control right now. Uh, this is mountainous terrain, so I'm not going to bother with it, and apparently I cannot attack anywhere, because my army is stuck in Lisbon until I actually finish the freaking fight. 
Let's tell them to attach to me. Let's see if Denmark is willing to join now. Minus 12 still. Okay, so defensive wars are now better. Keep that in mind. Right, let's start to move you there. Because they'll probably need help. Yep. Uh, and I'm locked. Damn it. Jean-Jacques. The 2 3 against the 3 3. Retreat. Yeah, this now is going to be interesting. Where's, where is the French army? War of the Roses. Ah, that's good. Friends has 10,000 men there, and they are now recruiting a little bit more over here. Okay, good. Attach to me. Ah, breached walls. Lovely. Now we can only assault forts, by the way, if you have breached walls. So that's something to take into consideration. These guys are looting my provinces. Which, in turn, uh, looting provinces. Yeah, that was reworked as well. Okay, so apparently these guys are not worried about War of the Roses. So, guess my guess is they are going to be just crushed. And Genoa occupied Cantabria, and now I have 6,000 in grasslands. Oh, Jesus. Yep, that's not going to go well for me. If I can, I'll retreat to Galicia. Or just shatter a tree to Murcia. That works too. Not really. Yeah, th mm, not entirely sure if that was worthwhile doing, but okay. Right, let's take these provinces again. If I had a fort on one of these provinces, these would be mine already. But I don't, so... They're moving to Beta. Minus 56. I'm so tempted to just assault this. I'm going to try and exhaust both France and England in this war. England occupied Bandit by the Joss. Yeah, but this one will be mine, because I have Toledo in here. So you want to try and force them to actually loot or fight or siege provinces that are right next to your forts. These guys will move to Vizcaya, so I'll have a fight in my hands there. But this is a fight that I can win, hopefully. More morale. Less units, but it's actually not that bad. Okay, move you to Cantabria, siege that pack. Lisbon, how is the loot? It's going well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Bet on 14th. Yeah, these guys are going to go there. And it's about Tuscany. The Castile occupied Cantabria, good. to this guy. Actually, where is the woods in Burgos? That's interesting. May apparently I managed to redo this. Yeah, expect bugs. It wouldn't be a paradox release without bugs. Siege of the Bourg. Good. So... France should now have this army ready and able. How much 
Okay, France only has 14,000 troops, really. What the heck is the matter with France? Could have fought France. No longer looting. Alright. Yep. I was expecting this, but I needed to do it and nonetheless. The end of the War of the Roses. Really? That was too soon. Yeah, there is no way in hell that I will be able to get there in time, I think. Truce with Granada is over, 3rd of January. On the 13th. Can you hold on for 10 days? Heh, <laughs> not one. Not even one. Okay, so at least you are attached to me. Just consolidate. Uh, 11,000. Alright, I'm actually going to put a cut in the first episode of the new series. So, until next time, do take care and goodbye.